See, I'm talking to someone who's very unique. You see, situations, circumstances, things do not break you. They make you. It doesn't matter what's sent towards you or what comes towards you. It is always there to make you. It always gives you strength to even grow stronger, right? Any challenges that come towards you is an opportunity to grow you. And that's who I'm talking to today. Because right now it may feel a little bittersweet. You may feel that there are many challenges in your life, but yet you also feel this exciting energy as well for all this new to come. Before I was going to make this video today, at its original time, I had to stop and redirect. I had to pivot, okay? Because, and you're someone who knows how to do that. You're doing that in your life because you're not controlling what you cannot control, okay? You're letting that go. And what I'm getting to is, I had to pivot and I had to redirect and go a different way because there were distractions here where I stay. You know, the man come out the blue unexpectedly to spray uh, for mosquitoes on his, um, we call it lawnmower, which thank you very much. I appreciate you. But I couldn't make the video in that timing because it was distracting, okay? So many of you here are probably experiencing many distractions. And I'm also hearing keep your focus. Sharpen your focus. Find ways to sharpen up your focus. Right now, you are diving deep. You're learning some deep things, okay? At certain levels... We, we learn things, right? And as we continue to grow, those things go hit deeper and deeper and deeper to where we actually then grasp hope and understand it because our level of consciousness, okay? So today's message is what I'm guided to speak with you on today. It could be something that you are working on right now because during this time, the unconscious is being revealed and coming to light, becoming, you're becoming aware of things that uh, have been unconscious to you for however long of time. And you're getting the opportunity to change it up, to let things go and change your story and reprogram your mind as you are going along, learning as you are going. One step, one moment at a time. Don't take on too much, for then it can be very heavy. It is a very important time to apply new lessons at a deeper level, okay? So that's exactly what I've just heard, and I feel like it just express what it said was exactly what I just expressed going deeper into something when I, I had something it's time to go deeper that's why you are here that's what I had got before this video as well it is time to go deeper that's why you have been guided here today okay so today I want to talk about faith and a little bit about the subconscious look my phone went off distractions okay stay focused during these times of distractions that are globally, okay? They're everywhere, okay? You feel me? You understand? <laughs> you hurt, right? They're everywhere, okay? But what I want to get into, right when I went out, I also saw a pregnant woman. And I was drawn to her, right? And and first thing I noticed was her long, beautiful hair. And it was just healthy, right? And so you're working with your health, okay? Not a doctor, disclaimer, disclaimer. But... During this time of like all this new energy and changes that are occurring in your body right now, it is important of the most high to take after, look after yourself, okay? To rest, rejuvenate, move slow and pay attention as to what is going on, okay? In your life, within you. Watch you right now. Okay, you're sharpening up your focus. The next thing I picked up when I saw the pregnant woman was the um her sphere <laughs> because her stomach is shaped like a circle. Of course, I heard what goes around comes back around when I just said sphere. Okay, so uh, being mindful where you place your attention is also what I'm hearing right now. Okay, because. Before I go into what I was just about to say, 
<clears throat> excuse me, speaking up for yourself. Oh, excuse me, let me get a drink of water. Be mindful where you're putting at your attention. There are subliminal messages and symbols everywhere that easily program the subconscious mind. There are, there's a lot of fear being expressed through others in the YouTube community, on the online community, social media community, any, shall I say, a lot of fear is being expressed. So be mindful of where you focus and put your attention at because it's always recording in the subconscious mind, okay? That's what just flowed through. So when I saw the pregnant woman, the circle belly, the first words that came to me was creation, new life. I'm also hearing right now, new beginning, a fresh start, and a whole nother way than the way you lived before. I heard you're uh, crossing your T's and dotting your I's right now. There is something that you're perfecting, and this could be linked to your talent. To someone, just take it how it speaks to you. Take what resonates and leave what doesn't. There is a birthing of a new world. And there's also new ideas that are coming in towards you. You're on the final chapter of something, okay? Something has dead, done, and over with. It's already at an end, okay? We're at the final chapter of this. This is why you may notice it be very distracting and full of challenges right now because you're growing very rapidly right now, okay? You're undergoing deep lessons is what I'm hearing. It, they're saying exactly what I'm expressing is these lessons are going deep. So it doesn't matter. I feel like they want me to say that. It doesn't matter if you heard something before, if you learned something before. As you grow, it's going to sink in and hit deeper to you. Okay, I'm also hearing the definition of faith is not what you think. So we're going to talk a little bit about faith because that's what I was guided to discuss as well. But the next thing I saw in my reality when I went out was uh, a young girl with very, uh, Rapunzel is what I just heard, okay? So maybe you all remember Rapunzel. So very long hair, so beautiful, almost down to her ankles, okay? And the first thing I picked up, which is coming through now, was it's been a long road because you have traveled the less road travel. The least, the role where people least travel. They're saying because, and people around you may be experiencing things differently from you right now. Don't become distracted by this. You're here on a mission. And you're starting to see things so much differently than before. Apply the lessons. At a deeper level, okay, this is this is really being pushed heavy to you, okay, lovely soul. I think you know what's up. I think you know what time it is. So, yes, I saw her hair, and like they said, it's been a long time coming. So, what you are seeing that is ending has to end. Whatever happens in life, in the world, it has to happen, okay? The world is undergoing changes as well, okay? So, as we, let's say this together, as something ends, something new begins. So, you have a choice where you choose to focus. You can focus on fear or you can focus on love. You have a choice. You can see the two worlds that are here now, okay? Many may not understand that we are all one yet, but you are understanding that we are all one, that everything is you and every, every you're everything, right? You're not separate from anything. The only thing that separates us is an ego. Our true essence is all the same from the same source. And you are beginning to understand that even if you can't wrap your mind around it and, and, and understand that at a deep level yet, you, you know this. You know this, okay? Because you are discovering more about who you are as well. There's new knowledge, new lessons. You're going to be teaching whoever I'm speaking to. You're going to be teaching in your own unique way. So trust yourself with this. Okay. As these new lessons that you are uh, learning within yourself, you're going to start to teach this. If you're not already doing this, let's go into what is faith. So Napoleon Hill says that faith is a state of mind and it may be induced by self-suggestion. So have faith in yourself 
and have faith in the infinite because faith is etern is an is okay so faith is the eternal elixir which gives power life and action to the impulse of thought so faith is the starting point of all accumulation of riches you heard faith is the only known antidote to failure Okay, this is what true faith is, like Napoleon Hill said. Okay, it is a state of mind, lovely soul. Okay, I'm being guided over here to this message that I got. This is what I written down yesterday. This will come to me. Faith, have faith in the unseen. Know and believe things are always working out for you because they are. You have to have faith even when you don't see the tangible results or the events of it, of what you're creating or what you're moving towards. You still have to have faith. You, what you believe has no choice but to appear once you are a vibrational match. It doesn't matter going back to the little girl with the very long hair, how long you've been on the journey. Okay. I heard the longer the, the journey, the bigger the rewards, because the most important thing that many of you are now discovering is finding out who you have always been this entire time. Because once you become, uh, your highest vibration, which you'll always keep growing. Okay. But your highest vibration, one, when you come back one with yourself, when you come back home, like many of you are right now, you're becoming a whole human. It's like you, like they said, you're crossing the T's and dotting the I's right now. Then you are in your uh, high frequency and vibration and you're, you're going to notice this magnetic pull within you. you you're going to start attracting in things into your life. You're going to start to see probably even six months from now, starting, starting now and probably already starting to fold in. Okay. Unfold in your life in small ways. So have big, huge gratitude for everything. No matter how small it is, be grateful for everything. You're going to have to Look at that confirmation. Listen to that truck horn, baby. You see that, okay? <laughs> You're going to have to have gratitude over everything right now during these times, okay? You got the power to make it through where you're going, lovely soul. Everybody, it's like when you on, when you climb into the top of that mountain, you can't, whatever's heavy, you, you, you got to let it go, okay? Whoever you trying to take up that mountain and carry with you, you're not supposed to carry nobody with you. They got to walk they self. You understand what I'm saying? So you got to walk away and let go wherever you're being guided in your life right now. That was so unexpected. That just come through. So faith is key. No matter during these times that feel tested in your life, you got to keep the faith, baby. Okay. And you're clearing out. Uh, you've been doing this clearing in uh, your subconscious mind because uh, that's the eclipse is helping us do that. It's bringing, it's been, uh, through introspection. We've been doing more introspection through the full moon and eclipse, uh, time, which we also have another eclipse in October. Okay. So it's just like a lot of shedding. Okay. A lot of shedding and clearing is going on right now. If you understand what I'm saying. So be mindful of what you do consume because you're doing work, baby. It ain't worth putting stuff back in there. You feel me? That's we're going to go, we're going to go in a little bit more about that in a few minutes. Okay. So as Napoleon Hill also said, it's a well-known fact that one comes finally to believe whatever one repeats to oneself. You can see this from both sides of the spectrum. Okay. You can see this in dark and you can see this in light. One comes to believe whatever one repeats to oneself, whether the statement is true or false. If the person if a person repeats a lie over and over again, that lie will eventually be accepted as truth. Many of you know this already, right? So you can see this on each side of the spectrum. So you can let people call you delusional all you want. You say how you wish to feel, right? You say how you wish to feel, how you wish to live, how you wish to be. You say you command that to your subconscious mind, okay? Uh, and the same is on the flip side of that. We ain't going to go into that because you already know what that is, okay? I've already given a little bit of pointers on what that is already, you know? So being mindful of what you watch and what you put in your subconscious mind, what you say to yourself, all these things matter, okay? So if you're in a troubling, I don't want to say troubling, but if you're in a, uh, uh, I heard scarce. So uh, if you're in a time of, 
in unknown, unpredictable times, right, that you're in right now, and you feel that uh, you want to give up, or you feel that things are not looking good, or whatever, you got to switch that up, and you got to believe that it is, you got to know, you feel me, you got to know, you got the power, you are the creator, you heard, you got to know, you feel me? It's best to believe in all the good because that's what will unfold than to believe in something that is not because you can't see it with your two eyes, baby. Okay, somebody need that message. How it come through today, okay? Woo, I'm feeling hot. I just came outside from the sun, but I love the sweat. So we're going to get that sweat on. We're going to get it on up in here today. Y'all stay tuned to the end of this video. I'm going to give you some seven rules to the mind that I learned when I went to school uh, for hypnotherapy. And I got some other messages that I'll give to you additionally, okay? So, it's just like, if you think about it, thoughts mixed with emotions and feelings, it's like planting a seed, which grows over time. So, whatever you think is true when mixed with emotion and feelings, it is true. You know, as a young kid, many of you, like your parents could have, uh, or others, could have placed seeds of doubt in your mind. Oh, I want to be, let's just say, I want to be an artist when I grow up. Oh, do you know how hard that is? You can't do that. Woo, 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 woo. All that stuff that played a season of, of doubting your mind. Maybe you, your gifts and abilities, you were telling them, like, for me, I was telling my mama that I, I basically could see things while I was at night in, in the room, in, in the dark. I could see things, right? And I would say the truth about, oh, you tripping, girl. You tripping. I grew up thinking I'm tripping. You feel me? <laughs> <laughs> so you can see that these seeds of doubts, however, can be planted in your mind. So if somebody working on something right now, baby, keep that to yourself until it manifests and come into fruition. So that that's the best way to keep, you know, how they say, uh, move in silence. Okay. So move in silence with something. When you are, when something's new to you and you're learning something new is when you're in a vulnerable state. So you got to have your boundaries up. Okay. Somebody needed that message as well. So if you think about music, for instance, like, a criminal don't wake up one day and be like, hey, hey, say, what's up? Hey, I'm going to be a criminal one day. You know what I'm saying? I mean, somebody might do that, though. I'm not going to say everybody, but you, you get what I'm saying. <laughs> oh, some real stuff. You get what I'm saying. So bring out that childlike spirit, though. Somebody need to hit it. Don't be so serious. Life about having fun and being playful. It don't matter what be going on. You feel me, baby? You got the power to see it how you want to see it and live it how you want to live it. Some message also did come across with that, like, live. Oh, that song was playing in my head. Just live your life. Yes, just live your life, baby. Live your life. And that was another song that I was playing. It. I'm not always there when you call, but I'm always on time. And I was picking up that something may not be there when you want it to, but it's going to come in divine time and you heard. Okay, so think about music, for instance. So with music, if, if someone's listening to music, I say it's a low frequency music. They're listening to some low frequency music and they're not thinking of becoming something that could be dark, you know, I'm gonna say dark, but let's just say, let's just tell the story. I don't even want to say none of that. Okay. So somebody listening to music, right? Say it's low vibration of music. Once they keep listening to this music over time, they can easily start. It's like a character in a movie. They can start acting out the parts. Once, once it's a, once, uh, what they're talking, what they're listening to becomes suggestible in the subconscious mind. And once it accepts it, once it accepts, it, they will start, this will become a part of their reality. This will be who they will become. This is what you are seeing in the world today. Lovely soul. Okay. So also be mindful of the type of music that you are hearing. I heard people getting turned out, yo, you feel me? They're getting turned out because not knowing why it's like, you know, it's like, have you ever thought of something like, I never thought I would do something like this. And you end and you ended up in those shoes. I mean, like, that's what I'm feeling right now. That's the vibes that I'm getting. I'm trying to give to you today. Okay. So it's just like, let me calm down a little bit. So it's just like, it's just like that. Okay. So also success is a mind, it's a state of mind as well. So if you're someone who thinks, I, I love to win, but I don't believe I can win. I don't think I can win. Then you won't win. It always bought, comes down to what you actually think. Because that's what you, that's how you're going to operate. You want to put these feelings and emotions to it. I want to have that big house over there on the hill, but I don't think I could ever have that. You feel me what I'm saying? Or, you know, I, I heard like a pity party, right? You got to know that anything is possible and that you can have anything you want. Okay. You can, no matter the timing, you got to release 
any attachments to the outcomes or how things will unfold, when it's going to come. Okay, this is going deeper than I even thought today. Okay, so y'all can kind of see where, where, where I'm coming from with this. It's like my daddy, I heard, don't take a wooden nickel. Okay, that's what my fiance's uh, grandmother will always say. Maybe she's here with us because she's on, you know, uh, in the other world. Um, maybe she's here with us and she dropped that with us today. Um, my dad would always tell me cake never could. That's all he never told me. He never broke it down to me. When I grow up, I would always uh, think that. My daddy said cake never could, and it made me always believe that I could do things. Even though I did have seeds of doubt, doubt to not believe in myself, I, they were planted inside of my mind. But my dad's words, can't never could, who's on the other side as well, uh, really played a big role in me like to strike, like, yes, you can. Yes, you can. It still gave me a drive to keep going no matter what. And I think you got that inside of you as well, okay? So you've always been moving through things, and you're starting to understand some things that have been holding you back for some time because what had been planted in your subconscious mind. So I don't even want to go any deeper into what I was talking about. I did have something here as well. Like, oh, I have wrote down, if you think you lost, then you'll lose. I wrote that down because somebody needs to hear that today. If you feel like, I think I lost, then you'll lose. If you think that you will get beat, then you will get beat. You are the creator and you got the power. The subconscious mind, it obeys the, it, it obeys the command that it receives on both sides of the spectrum. You can, you can speak this however, right? So if, if it's done in negative, it can be done in positive, okay? So you command your subconscious mind what you want. The ways to tap into your subconscious mind, one I did starting out um, was meditation. Uh, every time I tried to go up to the next level, it would show me what was blocking that, and I would release it in my in my reality, in my life, no matter how like it, much time it might have took. And I didn't I didn't realize that every time I go back to meditate, if I didn't release that, I, I would only stay at that level. I couldn't go up any higher. So meditation is the key and I started it felt so good the more higher I would go so I started releasing things at first it was very stagnant but eventually I was like uh, uh, getting it out and just reaching these higher highs within myself that I've never felt okay and I let go of the things that was being shown to me to let go of and that is one thing that could be very helpful that many of you may resonate with dream analysis the interpretation of your dreams keep your dream journal because your subconscious mind also speaks to you through your dreams so in your dreams you will be getting dreams right if you journal them out if you don't remember them, how did you feel Ask yourself, how did you feel? And write that part down if you can't remember your dreams when you awaken. Because there's underlying meaning from your dreams. Self-awareness, being the observer. And uh, also the next one is assessing your intuition, acting upon it, taking the action, following the steps that your intuition is guiding you to do. Okay, journaling your feelings, becoming in tune with what you are feeling. Also automatic writing, just start writing. It's like you begin to channel. Hypnosis. Uh, becoming aware of physical senses, pay attention to your body because your body is always speaking to you. This is another way to uh, tap into your subconscious mind. Your subconscious mind expresses through the body. Like Carl Jung says, until the unconscious is conscious, it will manifest as fate, right? It will just manifest as fate. Like, oh my God, all of my, this all of a sudden just into my reality. No, okay. That's why awareness is such a powerful thing. That's why I got it somewhere tattooed on me right there. Where is it at, y'all? Right there, awareness. Okay? Give yourself some time every day to have a moment of stillness because as I mentioned a while ago, ideas are coming into you. Write them down. Don't be coming overwhelmed by them. Okay? Just write them down. Get your ideal book. Write down your ideas, baby, because you are someone who's here to build a legacy. I like to treat my videos sometimes like I'm in the sauna, baby. I don't even got the AC on, okay? <laughs> so y'all do excuse me as I, I, I'm speaking to y'all. I'm sweating and stuff, okay? Y'all, this is how I do. That's what I be doing. You got to make yourself uncomfortable, okay? You got to be okay with discomfort. You can't always... That's the thing. You can't be always want to be comfortable. You feel me? That's the thing. We always we always want to be comfortable. Now, we got to get used to being uncomfortable. So, if I got to keep the AC off to make me feel uncomfortable, baby, that's what I'm going to do. You heard? That's somebody message that needed it right now today. So, uh, every day, put yourself in stillness, okay? Your, your subconscious mind... Um, you can send message to your subconscious mind through audio. Okay? I used to sleep at night. Uh, to help like re reprogram my root chakra with audio. I had like a band that had music coming out. There's like, I think pillow th things that, you know, you can listen, listen to at night. If you don't want to like listen, have headphones on. 
uh, affirmations, visualizations, start seeing the positive in things and command what you want using your feelings and visualizing and speaking it out loud, baby. I am enough. You got to put power into it. You feel me? Many people think that don't work. Everything I spoke, I became. I'm just saying. And you got to believe and listen to your inner self. Okay. So, uh, these are ways of sending in messages to your, to your subconscious mind. Positive self-talk. Don't observe unnecessary things. You got to stop, uh, like, I say internalizing things and making things about you. You feel me? It ain't got to be like that. I know. I did it too. I had to learn how to stop doing that. So stop absorbing things that are unnecessary. Creativity. Okay? Meditating often will fuel your creativity. It will give you energy to fulfill your desires. Practicing being mindfulness and aware. Be aware of uh, and identify self, what do you say? Self-limiting beliefs or just identify any limiting beliefs and place negative thoughts, replace them with positive ones. Okay? So if someone says like, no one ever loves me. Everyone loves me. Okay? It's just, it's just a simple flip just like that. And you start saying the opposite. Okay? You have to learn to bypass the conscious mind. And what helps with that is being relaxed. Okay, it's being relaxed is what helps with that. I want to go into this that I want to show you real quick. Um, before I go into the rules of the subconscious mind that my beautiful teacher Marissa Peer had given me when I went to school for hypnosis, hypnotherapy school back in 2020, 2021. I'll read that next. But uh, this beautiful message here, let me start here. Interesting facts about the subconscious mind. It records everything. It's always alert and awake. It controls 95% of our lives. It is built on habituation. It speaks to you in your dreams. It has no verbal language. It takes everything literally. It can do trillion things at once. It is not logical. It's the feeling mind. You hear? It is one million times powerful than the conscious mind, lovely soul. Okay? It's hidden deeper now. I, you might know. I heard somebody say, I already know. Yeah, but it's hidden deeper now because now you're going to apply this and do this work for yourself, for your growth. Okay, so subconscious mind controls 95% of how you think, react, behave, the actions you take, and the way you perceive your life. So this chart is speaking on what's stored in our subconscious mind. Emotions, long-term memory, beliefs, habits, values, protective reactions. Protective reactions. Creativity and intuition. What's stored in our conscious mind? Logical and critical thinking, willpower, and short-term memory. Now check this out because you're going to catch game on that on the logical mind with this one. What it was said. So one rule of the mind. Every thought or idea causes a physical reaction. Number two rule of the mind. What is expected tends to be realized. Number three real, rule of the mind. Imagination is more powerful than knowledge when dealing with your own mind or the minds of other people. And number four rule of the mind. Every suggestion act upon lowers opposition to successive suggestions. Okay. So use powerful su suggestions to lower the opposition. Five rule of the mind. An emotional induced symptom will cause organic change if maintained for long enough. So change the belief. Number six rule of the mind, when dealing with the subconscious mind and its functions, the greater the conscious effort, the less the subconscious responds, which is why willpower simply does not work. Okay. So it's just like, you know, if you're thinking about something that you think you, there's something you want to say to someone all of a sudden, you're like, oh, that slipped my mind. I forgot. You sit here, you try to think about it and you try to think about it. Guess what? You're not going to know. But once you let go of thinking, boom, it's going to pop up. Oh, I know. I remember what I had to say. Things be happening, y'all. But it, it, we don't be aware of why these things be happening. So this is the messages that I was guided to share with you today, y'all. I got hype. Hey, hey, we in the time we being ourselves. We being authentic. You heard? We showing up and we showing out. You feel me? We showing out inner child okay so yes um in here in this sauna i got going on right <laughs> made me real real hype though it's sweating and you know it feels good maybe someone needs to detox here not a doctor disclaimer disclaimer but that's what i'm feeling all right y'all so let's go into these messages. If you like this video, hit that like button. If it was supportive and helpful to you and it spoke to your soul, baby, you gave you some clarity, some confirmation, whatever you heard today, hit the subscribe button and the bell. If you recognize, re resonating with my energy and I'm speaking to you, you're understanding my energy 
hey, if you're receiving things and I'm speaking to your soul, hit that subscribe button and that bell so you get all the newest videos that I drop. Uh, hit the like button if I'm speaking to you. If you like this video, if it's helpful, if it gave you confirmation what I said a while ago, hit the like button. Okay, and share the video with anyone you want to share the video with. If you're an Instagrammer, follow me on Instagram at Miss Kelly Travel Spiritually. You heard? Let's get into the, the messages here. So let's get you a message from the Divine Master. What Divine Master would like to speak? Ooh, ooh, blue eye, baby. Hit the flow. It's coming to the dough. Okay, that's what I just heard. Divine mission. Okay, so enlightened action. Make choices from your heart. Let's read it. Look at, I, I, I don't do too well pronouncing people's names, so you can look for yourself and see the beautiful, the amazing g divine master that is here today. Who I'm getting uh, solar plexus vibes here. Creativity. I'm getting, um, I'm also getting sacral chakra vibes here. Heart chakra vibes here. Consciousness. I'm picking up as well. Let's get into it. So divine mission. Okay. I told you we on a mission. Y'all we is on a mission. You seeing things that everybody else don't see. Don't think you're tripping baby. Okay. Do the work that need to be done. The energy is supporting you. Don't don't become distracted on what, what they ain't giving you. Remember, wherever you invest your energy, you invest, wherever you invest your energy, make sure you receiving some back from it. Okay. Make sure it's not taken from it. Okay. So, um, pronounced Dwar Ku, also known as Tibet, as a Tibet Buddhist master who is said to have had many incarnations, including one of the original devotees of the Buddha. And as one of the three wise men who honored the birth of Jesus with frankincense, gold, and mirrors. I like those incense. He is one of the Mahatmas presented in the work of Helen Blosky, who was one of the first Western channelers to share information on the Ascended Masters. So, Dual Kum purpose is to guide humanity to a more enlightened and compassionate existence. He is one of the Lamas, Lamas residing in the etheric retreat of Shabala, a city of light hidden in the Himalayas. Many of these lamas are the spirit guides of light workers on earth. So your message with this card, you are being guided to know that your current situation and opportunity to evolve as a spiritual being having a human experience. Think beyond your current needs and try to see the bigger picture. Be compassionate in your choices and actions and open to seeing the other person's point of view. Let go of any selfish desires or needs that may not serve you in the long run, for this will help you take a more enlightened steps forward. There is a divine mission in your current circumstances and your spirit guides are around you at this time and encouraging you to see how far you have come. See that See that for yourself and understand how you've evolved. You have all it takes to move on and move up. Let go of any fears or of, of loss and limitation. This is just your ego testing your ability to transcend fear. Let your heart lead the way. Look at that beautiful divine message from Divine Master. Thank you, thank you, thank you for coming through with us today. I really appreciate that message indeed. Okay, what you're being shown right now. What is the collective being shown right now? Angels, what would you like to share? Thank you, thank you, thank you. A year from now, your life will not be the same. Things will be totally different. You will have evolved so high. You will become unrecognizable to others. Those who are not ascending, like at the same vibration as you, at, at the, um, that's what I picked up, at the same vibration as you. So people maybe at lower frequencies won't be able to see you, okay, a year from now. This is what I'm picking up. You are pure consciousness and you must remember this. Things are not over. They're just beginning. What is ending was always meant to end. It was always meant to be this way. We had become, we had become too comfortable with certain ways of being. We are on a mission here, and that is why we are here changing up things. And it all starts with creating changes within ourselves. 
We must remember who we are and the power that we carry within us. We are a part of Source, the Creator. And you have this power that lies within you. Begin to work with the light. For you are the light. You're balancing out your energies. Be okay with what comes your way and accept it with love and compassion. This is all a part of your growth and your ascension. Don't get caught up in what, what, in what was or what is. Know that you're moving on to a whole new place. This place you have never seen before. It is worth everything that you have experienced and whatever you are experiencing right now. You got to leave behind those who are not going with you. You are the leader and you are here leading the way. And whoever you are, that this message right there that just said about letting go of certain people, you know who you are. It's speaking directly to you. This is just another call to you. So you've already been guided this, okay? You have been shown this. You have to understand that not everyone is here on a mission. It's time for you to choose you and let love guide you the way. Those are the messages that I have for you. Look at the new earth on this card. Wow, look at this. It's just like giving me balance. Giving me balance in dark and light, you know, within yourself. Shadow self, light self, balance. I heard being crowned, like sitting on your throne and in peace. Very psychic, okay? Very love, love surrounding you. Feeling so much lighter and at ease. Man, you're moving to a whole new place. Take a look at that card. What are you picking up in your intuition? Look at this new earth that, that has been birthed. It's here. This is where you're moving to. Like I said on one of my last videos, it feels like one foot in the 3D and one foot in 5D. Okay? So recover. Recover, lovely soul. Something could be coming in for some of you within a few months. Great changes is what I'm picking up. Stay open. Okay? Let's see what we got. Y'all, I didn't mean to go so deep and long. Ask for help from your angels. What's stopping you in your journey right now? What is stopping the collective I'm reading for in the journey right now, spirit? Surrendering. I can release my need to control. Surrendering. This is what's stopping you right now. Release. I can release my need to control. Let go of what you can't control, baby. This is what's stopping you right now. It's time to surrender. Be honest with yourself, baby, because you're moving into a time of abundance, you hear? Okay? Let's see. What's getting in your way? What's getting in your way? For the collective I'm reading for, Spirit, what is getting in their way right now? It's a time of change, baby. It was always meant to be this way, for real. Look, a person. It says soulmate on here, but I actually am picking up another person. Okay, so what I'm picking up is like, you got people in your life that could be blocking your soulmate connection. More like-minded souls, your tribe that will be uh, coming into your life all in divine time. And you could have hurt like a crowd of people or uh, many people in your life that could be, uh, you're holding on to that, you want to feel like you want to bring with you is what I feel like. We, we, it's like you're scared to let go, right? They're going to, you, you have this fear of loss that we've spoke on this today. Somehow it came through. They're going to block people who, who, um, who are aligned with your soul, who are your soul tribe. Okay. It doesn't have to mean like a relationship. That's what I'm, that's what I'm picking up. It was always meant to be this way. Like there are certain people that were in our life for a reason to teach us. It doesn't matter who they are. Labels come off. Okay. You know, you know, what's up. Uh, take it how it speaks to you. And then there's other family that are not blood, that are part of our soul tribe, right? That will be entering our lives, okay? So you got to let go of whatever victim mentality that's going on here, okay? Maybe connected to that, feeling 
um, like a victim. And you could take the how it speaks in your life, however, because you're moving into a time of abundance, baby. Let go of the perfection and, uh, hey, be confident. Let go of the perfection and be confident, okay? So these are things that uh, are getting in your way right now for those who are resonating. We're almost done, y'all. I thank y'all for sharing y'all valuable time here. Let's say something the collective needs to work on, spirit. Something the collective needs to work on. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Okay. What expectations do I have that are impossible to meet? This is what's coming through. The expectations we have are mostly delusional and impossible to meet. When we, we then experience disappointment with ourselves or with the relationship when they are not met, it's time to dissolve your expectations and replace them with gratitude. So today's soul action, be grateful. You are being summoned to more peace. Peace is home for our soul and it is accompanied, accompanied by trust. It comes when you surrender and focus only on what you can control. If you expect nothing and are grateful for everything, you will experience extreme fulfillment, lovely soul. Okay. You don't have to like, there's something that you have expectations on. Like I said, don't attach to any outcomes. You can always expect the good, but you trust and let it unfold how it is with no attachment to the outcome, right? If you already know within you, this, here's an even better one. You know within you, I know everything working out for me. I know I got this. I know I'm headed to all these great things. You know you already got it right now. You ain't got to worry about looking for it. You already know you got it, right? So you just keep moving, riding the wave. That's an easier way to go with it, you know? So it's, it's, it's all how you choose to do it. It's like you, you know this within you right? You know, everything's already done. It's already worked out. You feel that energy within you, right? You feel fulfilled right now. You feel at peace right now. You feel abundant. You feel successful. You feel rich. You feel it all right now, knowing you already got it. You just ride the way. That's the way to be right now. Not attached to any outcomes because that will cause discouragement. That's what I'm picking up right now. Okay. So let's get you a cosmic sign. So a cosmic message for the collect. Oh, here it go. Jump in, baby. Jump in. Jump out. Turn yourself about. Introduce yourself. That's what I'm picking up. It's going to be a new you, baby. That part, okay, that one just came through. You're being asked to take a chance and give whatever you are questioning a try. The stars will never all align in just the right way. Sometimes you have to take that leap anyway. This is that time. You heard? Well, I think we're going into the equinox. What is it like? Labor season starting with September 22nd, baby. It's time to jump. Okay, it's time to jump. Things are shifting, baby. The wheel is turning in your favor. That's what I'm hearing, too. Higher self message. And we're going to get your angel message. We're going to be done, y'all. Higher self message. All right, it's coming, too. These pains you feel are messengers. Listen to them. You're getting signs. You're learning messages from spirits that ties into the subconscious mind. You heard? Okay, they're messengers. Listen, listen. Okay, an angel message to tie it all together. Angels, what would you like to share? Okay. One, two, three, four. I saw that number today. Let me know you've seen that number today. you probably seen two, three, four too, huh? Let me know if you've seen that number today, baby. It's good luck. Like I said, I said, the wheels turn in your favor. Good luck, spirit guides, progress, justice, structure, system, processes, conditioning, and rules. You're on the right track. Someone from the other side has your back and encourages you to try your best. You will succeed. Observe your surroundings and communicate clearly. Be sure that everything will fall to pieces. Know that it will. Just know it, baby. You got the power. What a beautiful way to end it today. I love y'all. I hope this video was helpful for y'all. Keep taking care of yourself because you move into a new life. You have a choice, but you choose to focus on. Y'all don't know where the time it is. Y'all got free will here on earth, though. Till next time, one love.